Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 16th of December 1914, the German Imperial Navy attacked the British seaside towns of Scarborough, Hartlepool and Whitby. The German High Seas Fleet, which was numerically smaller than the British Grand Fleet, had been ordered to avoid direct engagement with the enemy. Instead, they focused on targeted attacks to draw out smaller portions of the Royal Navy that could be confronted by U-boats. After a successful raid on the seaside town of Yarmouth, the use of such tactics was increased. The German leadership had determined that an attack on Scarborough, Hartlepool and Whitby would be possible after a U-17 returned from a reconnaissance mission. It found that there were very few mines in the vicinity, and no coastal defences, which made the towns an especially easy target since they were within a comfortable distance of Germany. British intelligence officers had already decoded messages that indicated the German fleet would be mounting the raid. However, British Admiral John Jellicoe opted to allow the raid to happen and then intercept the German ships on their return. This decision proved catastrophic, as the British underestimated the size of the German attack. Over a thousand shells were fired, resulting in 137 deaths and a further 592 people being injured. Most of the casualties were civilians, and to make matters worse, the British fleet failed to engage the enemy on their return. The British public was outraged firstly that the Germans had attacked civilians, and secondly that the Royal Navy had failed to stop them. Remember Scarborough soon became a key message of the British propaganda campaign, and revenge was used as an incentive for recruitment to the armed forces. 